The fact is, though, that, that the bad guys are always much better written than the good guys, and they're kind of irresistible to play because they're so much more fun. Hit me one time. Hit me twice. Go! Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's rather nice. Once I charm the mermaid, my victory shall be complete. <laughs> I hate singing. I hate it. I hate love and friendship. And do I ever hate that little mermaid? The only one who apparently suffers no pain at all is that pathetic mask. I must have him to study. I shall unleash the city's underworld rabble upon that green-faced boor. Spread the word throughout the criminal grapevine. Thanks to these bells, we shall find the lost city of Tinabula. Then I shall have my weapon, and we will all be rich! I am Thaddeus E. Clang, finder of lost antiquity. <laughs> this is all very moving. I had no idea you had a bride in mind already. You should have told me. Poor Haru, you must feel like such a loser. No, I'm sure you do. So look, I have a great idea. You should marry me instead. There's one of them! <laughs> Stop her! Worse! <laughs> the other one! <laughs> oh, is that so, woman? Fetch! And we want all the crown jewels, or you'll never see Charles and Day again. Perfect, my dear. Hey, 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 we do worry about you. Forgive me for disabling your little toy, Carmen. Oh, you're a fool if you believe the reason you hunt me is to see me stopped, Carmen. We both live for the game. We're two sides of the same coin, you and I. I've had my own personal doctors examine both bodies. It appears Nala Say did miss something in her examination. Good. Destroy all evidence. When the time comes, no one will be able to stop our plan to execute Order 66. Any question at the raising of storm sail and tandem, my dear bog-trotting bosun, will be my decision. No brave wee lassie such as yourself would desert her siblings, would she? So do me the honor of escorting me to my mortal enemy, Peter Pan! So, nerd, I hear you want to be a big ladies' man. <laughs> Marina is mine. Wake up and smell the seaweed, you little fool. Nobody's going to marry a loser like you. Oh, I'm sorry if I startled you. Um, where's Adam? Come, I'll show you the sweetest delight in the garden. As a surprise for Adam. He's coming, as prophesied. To destroy me, and I'm so close to release. Go! Find him first, and bring me his beating heart. And I'll beat it raw. But I am Jules Verne. Perhaps you have read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Tonight I will announce the closing of the War Ministry, then your appointment as Minister of Science. You will attend, Julian. That is a royal order. And your plans for dismantling the military are approved as presented. I've admired your work unraveling supernatural mysteries for some time now. I mean, basically, we're in the same business of mystery and the occult, right? Listen, Velma, I'm going back to my hometown in Massachusetts this weekend. It's very peaceful and relaxing. Why don't you and your friends come visit? And you must be Garfield. I've lived your life for the past few days. Yes, if ever a man loved a cat, it's your John. Return to him, Garfield. Return to your home. Come on, Dr. Blight. You can tell your own computer. What is this secret surprise we're telling? I already did that. Milliseconds ago. 
That would be whom to thank, Mr. Mayor? And the answer would be me, Dr. Morocco. Like my new breed of rescue robot. It single-handedly does the work of your entire squad. I do hope they're made of recyclable parts. This is Air Tonic Extraordinaire. A mere drop, and soon you will have the most luxuriant curls. Ah, Jacques Le Biff will accept this as a deposit. Au revoir. Let me understand this, Hammerhead. You and your associates are questioning my plans? Oh, you mean when the army takes control of the weapon with its tanks and jeeps and hundreds of guards? Clovis, take us downtown. It's time I met this Darkwing Duck. Indeed, it is I. If this production is even half as bad as the long day's journey into night that your third grade class fumbled through last year, then I shall enjoy describing its every pathetic flaw and fault in my review in the bi-weekly Bugle. Most foul and wicked wizard! You tempt powers beyond your grasp! <sighs> you shall regret this. Well, I say we'll have it dug out in three tweaks of a tailor's moustache. That's it, Debbie. Show your grandmother the kind of spirit the Thornberries possess. Um, yes. Well, it's a spirit of a sort, anyway. Yes, delightful, Master Charles. Clearly, you have mastered the rules of tennis. I believe it's my serve. Oh, dear. I have punned. No need for violence. I was merely trying to get your attention. Mutro Buta, at your service. For a price, of course. I am the Society of Assassins. I have come to you, Aladdin, because your exploits are legendary throughout the Seven Deserts. I need your assistance in reuniting me with my body. Destroy me! <laughs> Don't worry, little genie. You shall not suffer for long. <laughs> Tis the Christmas season once again on a street called Sesame. A street where, year after year, sunny days have given way to the crisp sights and sounds of winter. And I love you, Tiffany. And I love all of you. Come on, everyone. Let's hug. Ah, perhaps a movie doesn't scare Ikis. But I think Ikis would tell a different story if Cuddles Bear was real, eh? Oh, Kayla. There's no spunk in your trunk. No pep in your proboscis. And no cause for alarm. Elephants do not forget, but sometimes they do get stage fright. Childhood, a time of innocence, a time of joy, a time of unspeakable, unrelenting tragedy. Mrs. Tickles, tell us how it feels to know you may never see your children again. And what is this delightful thing? And how did I get out of that tree? Should have sprayed for pests. <laughs> mm, lovely wings. So easily detached. That's so much better. It isn't easy being made of tin. The worst part is, I don't have a heart. I can't feel happy. And I can't feel sad. You there, turnkey. Where's the lion's friend, Mr. Oscar Diggs? <laughs> Isn't he here? I don't understand. Didn't the witch take him prisoner? Not a single one. And I suspect that every alien species on Earth is represented in Undertown. Yes. I can't imagine that your collaboration with the incursion invasion helped your reputation very much. Professor Timba Calamitous. And welcome to the last scene of the movie, and your lives. <laughs> yes. Awful, isn't it? She's actually trying to bring Christmas back to the castle. And you know...
know how much we despise Christmas. Sugar Plum Princess. I've never heard of a Sugar Plum Princess. Bring me the Royal Registry. And bring me the Nutcracker. When you hit those rays, you'll be incinerated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've always had a passion for crispy duck. We shall escape them as we escaped that dimensional prison. I have to be careful of those trying to spy on my work. There's nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Loeb. I assure you the Orangu men are perfectly harmless. Unless I bid them otherwise. No, Assistant, it's a blue planet. If I want to menace a red planet, I'll say red planet. And where's the popcorn I wanted but never asked for? My only son, your brother, died in Athens. Now their sons and daughters will die. So, you do not obey orders, are you stupid? <laughs> yes, William Tell. You are no ordinary man, so I will give you no ordinary punishment. I'm terribly sorry. Did I startle you? Hmm. Now, why have you come here? And how might I help you? There you are. And as prompt as ever, too. Ah, yes, the blood money. You are playing this to the hilt. Mind if I have a peek? My sensors picked up the rapidity of your typing, neat thing. This sounds like a good one. The correct spelling of dumb is D-U-M-B. Ah, I couldn't leave you to face this thing alone, Lou. <laughs> Lou, <laughs> I am not your father. Y oh. You have a father, Steve Hansky, the guy you look exactly like. Ring any bells? Huh. Surrender now and save yourself, boy. Game and match. Hand over the Zyber immediately or say goodbye to the boy. Oh, I know what you're saying, folks. Good old G. Gordon's lost it. What's this, the eight billionth time he's run that clip? But that's because I'm trying to wake you up! Mm. Brimming with theorems, peppered with formulas, a delectable morsel. Merry Christmas! What right are you to be merry? You're poor enough. Christmas is a time for fools, finding themselves a year older and not an hour richer. At your end, the floating head at your service must full inanimate mutagens charged. I've finally found something more powerful than your robot lions. This is what I'm going to use to rule the skies, lion boy. Hagar, I need reinforcements. Conjure more dragons. More dragons! Oh, I thought we'd defer payment. You see, with Frank being in such bad shape, too many germs are moving in, squeezing me out. That was my life. I'm the one who gets to reveal the evil plan. After years of research and bribing head waiters, I learned the secret. These bizarre creatures were found wandering the astral nebula of the Lobrankian galaxy. Don't try this at home, kiddies. Otto the Odd is a trained professional. Professor J. Hieronymus Slick, purveyor of oddities, fineries, and rarities at your service. I've got giggles, whirly gigs, thingamy bobs, doohickeys, knickknacks, pennywhacks, and if you bring your dog around, I'll give him a bone. I'll give it up. Whatever victory is your demon blood grants you will soon be unraveled by your human weakness. I will find it, Mummy. And all of the secrets it holds. <laughs> then QAD will truly be the quickest package delivery service in the world. They must be <laughs> desperate indeed to give the message to this putrid-smelling 
Reject. <laughs> no. Pigeon and the glass. With a lovely livre milk reduction. <laughs> 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 I thought I defeated all the luchadores in the world. Well, if he's not a luchador, then I don't need his soul. I'm going to eat him instead. Look, I don't want to sound unsympathetic to the environmentalists, but we're in a recession here. Well, it sounds as if you have planned for every eventuality. I am so glad to know that I'm leaving the prince's safety in good hands. Nor does he respond well to threats of violence. I strongly suggest you decline the invitation. Hello. I don't think we've met. I am the sorcerer. I have been down here for 800 years. Ah, welcome, weary travelers, to the great big universe of XS. You may call me Sir. That is S I R which stands for Simulated Intelligence Robotics. I always knew I could rely on you, Three Claws. Some of the others, especially Halftail and Vich, need watching. Pretty soon I'll be gone for a day or two. I want you to keep an eye on them. Good night, Simon. What is it now, Shaolin? Can it not wait till morning? What? Well, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far, we've been a little indecisive. Now, Mr. Hess, did you actually see this alleged tree fall on Mr. Sinclair? Tell me, Roy, are you close enough pals that you might tell a lie to help your friend? We are the parents' resistance. Yes. Freedom fighters waging a guerrilla war against an evil, so insipid, so banal, so syrupy sweet that it threatens the sanity of parents everywhere. All attempt now to Robbie, the tentative, the unsure one, fashionable replacement for Andre the O.R. <laughs> what are you sticking around for? All this excitement? Ooh, I've never heard that one before. I'm not ready to go. I made a mistake. Boo-hoo. Well, forget it! We made a deal! Russian? What are you talking about? I made a wrong turn. And what do you plan on doing? You ever wanted to be a firefly? <laughs> Look at that crimson, and the way the scarlet blends with that carnelian. <laughs> Colors are my life. Ever since I was a hatchling, I've had this gift for colors. Your parents died on their knees. Your brother's corpse rots in Ostagar. And what's left? A fool husk of a son, likely to end his days under a rock in the deep roads. We went to school together. I was always the smart one, and for that reason alone, I was ridiculed, picked on, ostracized from the rest of the children. <laughs> because of you, I was laughed at, isolated, and my life of bright promise was turned into a life of vicious crime. Your Honor, my sweet child, deceive me not, child. I can smell them. I can smell the children in this house. <laughs> You fell for our trap brilliantly. We don't want to be eaten. We want to eat you. Does this mere moon dare orbit such a potent star? Is that a nova I feel building in the room? Oh my dear, your performance was outstanding. Hey, Aunt Eve, look how quaint these common fruit are. I say, chaps, you've had what you consider fun. Now it's time to leave. It's a wonderful to have company. I do hope you like fruit salad. It appears he packed out of dinner. Oh well. Bon appétit. <laughs>